And he will have a Ravens first down as they're able to convert on third and short yardage with a gain of four. Prescott looks to throw on first. Forced out to his left. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Davis. So pass interference, the call is so tough as a defender, I'd imagine, to time that up perfectly. It certainly is difficult to get it exactly right because sometimes you're looking at getting there fractions of seconds too early. That one looked a little more obvious. Always a tough penalty to officiate. Just ask the basketball refs when they have to officiate block and charge. A nice run there, nine yards, and it'll be second down. Another run here with Sanders. And this time he's not going anywhere. They'll get him down right at the line of scrimmage. Not enough there for a first. No gain, as a matter of fact. And it leaves them at third and one. This is third and one. Very likely four down territory, even if they don't get it, though. Oh, he bowls over him. And he's going to get this inside the 30. That's good for a Raven first down, 15 yards there. I know the Eagles like to put players in certain boxes. He does this and he does that. But this guy, he can do a little bit of everything. He's not just a lead blocker or a guy who protects the passer. Nowhere to turn here, and he's going to go down. Back at about the 37-yard line. It was Leo Chanel who got in to drop him. So second and long, and got to be careful not to fall out of field goal range. Another try after the first down sack. Prescott, open man downfield is Davis. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Bengals' 13-yard line. Sanders here as they run out of the gun. And he's going to get about four down inside the 10 to the 9. Not a run that you're going to write home about, but still a good first down run. That's what an offense calls staying on schedule. Three to four yards on first down, you're set up very well for the rest of the drive. Nine-yard line, second and six. Now Prescott. Got his tight end. That's complete. It's Andrews. And the Ravens are going to have a first and goal coming up as the tackle made at the three-yard line. Sanders. And Sanders has it poked free. And the Bengals have recovered it. Partner, you know how often we hear about the red zone, right? From the 20-yard line going in, that scoring zone, getting points on the board. A lot of teams call from the 10-yard line in the green zone. That's your money zone. He fumbles the ball inside the money zone. You have one job, take care of the ball. That didn't happen. Play action. It's Burrow. They'll find his tight end. That's Waller. And he gets it to the 30 when it's all said and done. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. And a nice gain of 21 yards. Throwing now. Burrow on first down. Steps away to his left. It's complete to Cook. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. Last play, they went over 20 yards. This time, they topped 30. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. Out of the gun, it's Burrow. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And they're going to work this down to about the 32-yard line. Here we go. To throw again on second down. Burrow. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. Nine yards on the pickup there, and it keeps the drive alive. Throwing again, it's Burrow. 
And a big loss here as he's taken down. Adafi only showed off the pass rush skills. Now that was a passer's nightmare. The front door totally shut down by the defense. So he kept going backwards, hoping to find another avenue of escape. It didn't exist. Got a man. It's Darren Waller. Now a timeout signaled for, and they'll get it with 10 seconds to go before halftime. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. Here's Burrow setting up to throw it. And he wisely will throw that one away. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. The kick by Bass is good. And the lead stretches to nine. It's now 12 to three. So the defense are able to force their first turnover of the game, and then they add on to that by getting the field goal. And you don't just want to take the ball away from your opponent, partner. You want to make them hurt as well. And if you don't score yourself on defense, turn it over to your offense and have them put points on the board. Well, a second quarter onside kick there that failed. Is that something that maybe they had dialed up before this game started? It feels like it, doesn't it? That they thought they had the right situation, you know, and, and the right approach and going after it. Also may signal that they feel like they have the superior team, that they can try these sorts of things and it won't come back and hurt them later. And now this throw incomplete, and that is how this first half will come to an end. So we come upon halftime with nine points separating these two teams. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. The Bengals set to receive. They have the lead and the football to begin quarter number three. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. The Bengals drive about to get going. Hey, Charles, they've got the lead. Put your coaching hat on here now. What's the game plan for the second half? I think getting the running game going a little bit more because I thought in the first half, it didn't get it moving the way that they would like. They had success throwing it. But I think these first couple of drives, they'll want to get those running backs going and give them more opportunities. And I will guarantee you that those guys were lobbying for them in the locker room at halftime. On second down, Cook. It's a gain of six, moves him to a manageable third and two situation. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time and making it work. The Ravens bring out an extra defensive back here on third. Looking to pass. And the throw there going to be incomplete. They certainly thought they had an open look beyond the first down marker to his receiver. But they just couldn't connect. And that will send them back to the drawing board. On oh, is the punter Townsend as he gets this one away. This is fielded at the 27. A nice return that time of about 14 yards. And the Ravens, they'll take over. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And Charles, they're certainly still right in this game, but they need that offense to wake up and in a hurry. Yeah, I like the way you put it. They certainly did seem to sleepwalk a bit in the first half. Now that their defense has done its job, it's their turn now to go out and try and get some points. So they'll come up in Bengals territory now with a first and 10 at the 32-yard line. They'll run with Sanders up the middle. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 37-yard line. Yikes, a four-yard loss really sets him back now for second down. I think it's pretty evident we can say what a difference a week makes. Last week, 
He ran pretty much wild, didn't he? Did pretty much what he wanted to do. But this one, they stopped him cold. That, to me, that's good scouting and even better execution. Yeah, and they stopped him behind the line right there. They obviously watched the tape a few times and made some adjustments. You get the sense that they're saying, we're not playing up to what we're capable of, and we're deep enough into the game that the early jitters are long gone, that they should now have some sense of continuity and be able to make some of these plays that they have not been doing so far. Meanwhile, on third down, they take a shot at the end zone, but it's incomplete. So coming on now is the field goal unit. They're gonna try for three, and he'll need all the leg he's got here. This from 54 yards away. Tucker's kick is good, and that'll move him back within six now. So three points, maybe not a grand prize at this stage, but it does get him back within one score. It certainly does because now they stay within shouting distance. So that means everyone on your sideline stays engaged in this game. They know they still have a shot. The Bengals drive about to get going. And Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there was a quick three and out, and they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series, but what would be even worse now is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. They're throwing to start the drive, but that went incomplete. Whenever I see a drop like that, I have to kind of take a step back and check myself a little bit. So used to seeing those big guys make big time spectacular plays that when they drop one, I have to remind myself, we ask a lot out of these guys. Block and catch the football, not easily done in today's NFL. To throw again on second down, Coro. That's complete to his tight end, Waller. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. Seven catches for him now in this last one, a first down. And that was good protection there. No, that was great protection there because it allowed him to lock in on his receiver. Although I think he was looking for his tight end on the corner route all the way. Nice connection there for a really nice gain. On first and ten, Joe Burrow dancing to his left. And that one's going to be off target and incomplete. Well, that's a defensive coordinator's got to be happy with that result. They took away all options downfield and forced the incompletion. Third quarter of a tight football game as we come up on a second and ten. Again, it's Burrow. Oh, that's into a sea of bodies, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Marcus Williams. And the Ravens are in great shape here as they take over at their 46-yard line. That throw, Charles, over the middle of the field, and a few too many bodies in there got picked. That's a normal situation, too, isn't it? No matter how hard you try and spread the field sometimes, there's always going to be a traffic jam, it feels like, towards the middle. And if there's any type of a missed throw, or maybe the ball's tipped, or just too many bodies in the area, an interception can result. That's swung out wide to Sanders. Only able to gain a couple there, and that will bring up second down. Caught that look from you there, partner. I think we're on the same page on that one. Just his first catch, I think we both thought he'd be a little more active in the passing game. Let's see if that's the start of them trying to get the ball to him a little bit more here in the second half. It's a second down run with Sanders. And across midfield he goes and into Bengal territory. Running lanes run a premium in the first half, but he's able to find some room there, and he's hoping that that's a precursor of a big second half. They'll try and run for it with Sanders. And he is going to lose yardage here. That'll back him up two yards and also bring up four. This defense is just flat getting after it. They have not given up much of anything in the run game. Case in point right there.
And he's taken down at the 43, but not before picking up the first. Just a gain of three, but they'll certainly take it as they convert on fourth down. Shotgun snap, and then the give to Sanders. Broke through some contact, but unable to reach the 40. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. They'll go again with Sanders. It appears he'll be a few inches short, so nine yards on the gain officially, and it'll be third down. Kid had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one? Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. This one caught by Davis. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Bengals' 18. 16 yards on that one at a Raven first. I don't care how many times we see it, I still get a kick out of watching quarterbacks and receivers do the pass tree in pregame warm-up. But I always remember that when we go to practices, we see that after practices as well. They really tune it up, don't they? They tune it up. They know why they do it for these situations. First down. And they build that trust, and that's why they're able to find him in this type of a situation. And they're going to get this down inside the 15. Well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. But linebackers nowadays, they run like backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. Second and six. Prescott down. Throw right side here, taken in by Bateman. And the Ravens are looking at first and goal as he's tackled all the way down at the two-yard line. And I'll tell you what, this offense is playing a little bit of keep away right now. They've come out here in the third quarter, possessed the ball for quite a while, and they keep on converting. Nice pitch and catch there to set up the first and goal. And he will take it in for a Ravens touchdown. Miles Sanders. His eighth rushing touchdown of the year. And the Ravens have tied the ball game with a chance to go ahead now in the final seconds of the third quarter. Tucker able to connect on the extra point, and that will put them on top here in the third. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. drive about to get going here comes another drive from this unit and Charles they're coming off a costly mistake on the last possession an interception in a game that is very close right now well as we know they all sting no matter what the situation but in a one possession game that'll hurt a little bit more but this is an excellent opportunity to make up for it on this drive I just don't expect them to try and take huge gambles to make up that momentum in a hurry and he'll be out of bounds right at the 40. Nice play call, a little bit of play action right there. If you can get those linebackers to freeze for just a split second, that's usually all the room you need in order to get it to your tight end. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. I'm wondering... first down with Burrow and that is incomplete trying to erase that deficit all at once one big shot he took it unfortunately for him incomplete
Throwing again on second and ten. Burrow. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And he's going to be taken down with the first down at the Ravens 43. The Bengals passing game finding a rhythm. They've got another first. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and watch them drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there, not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed too. To the air again, Burrow. And incomplete on the deep ball. Nice progress down the field was halted by that incompletion. They could try for some safe yards here to get things moving again, or keep throwing it and pushing it downfield to try and pick up bigger yardage. Second and 10 now, Burrow. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Adafi Oway able to record his fifth sack of the season. They've gone up over 30 yards of turf so far, but a sack knocks them backwards. And that interrupts the momentum they were building. Good opportunity for the defense to escape this drive before they get to the end zone. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. They were trying to erase that deficit in one play. They certainly were, but how about the reaction time and the instincts back deep to force the incompletion? We might need to mark this one down. We may look back and say that was a game-saving play. Here we go. It's Burrow on fourth down. He's going to go up top again. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. The Bengals try it, but it doesn't work out. And the Ravens get the football back and in great shape. Well, being just short of midfield, they decide to take a crack at it on fourth down. They don't come through. Sometimes it's just showing confidence in your defense. You know that they're good, and they'll take care of you. A lot of coaches during the week will announce to their team, we're going to be aggressive, guys. We're going to go for it. Hey, defense, you got me? A little bit of a challenge to them to see if they'll pick up the rest of the team. See how they respond now. 51 yards on the ground for him now as he's done that on 15 carries. Well, it is our business to analyze what we saw out there. And on that play, I saw defense staying in base, not taking a chance, not blitzing in a situation where they absolutely need the football back. That's either a case of overthinking it or not thinking it through. If you do blitz, do you have to be careful about where you're coming from or are you just coming from all angles? You have to be careful about where you're coming from, obviously, but at this stage, you have to take a few chances as well. And he'll be taken down at about the 22-yard line. Well, a clear running situation. Try to take time off the clock. He ran the previous play, set that play action up nicely. Boy, did they ever, because they had shown the ability to run the football. So now you lose your keys as a defense. You dive for the running play, and they hit him over the top. It'll go down as a two-yard loss, and it brings up a third down. Now, obviously, that's some good work there defensively, being able to stop them and bring up a key third down. But if you're on the offensive side of the ball, there's an opportunity because I know what defensive guys are thinking right now. Just stop them, get to the ball. That means it might not be sound defensively. There could be some opportunities. And you said key third down. Highlight that word. Put it in bold. Here we go. Clock running under four to play now as they come up on first and ten. Up the middle they go with Sanders. And he'll be taken down here at about the eleven. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Another run with Sanders. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. It's a gain of six. Moves him to a manageable third and two situation. They'll come to the line needing only two yards to gain the first here. They'll try and run for it. This is use check. It'll be called a gain of two, and that'll leave them with some options here on fourth and inches. I bet they thought they had picked that one up because it was a third and two call, and they got awfully close. Now we're at fourth and inches. I wonder if they think they're feeling lucky here <laughs> and maybe want to go pick it up. It's a keeper with Prescott, and it'll be touched down here, but not before he does pick up the first. 
They only got a couple, but a couple's all that they needed as they convert on fourth. We well, just totally get the sense there that a field goal was not in the game plan at all. And the boys up front, they created the surge. I think they knew that they had the leverage advantage. Oh, that's a great point there. Being able to get lower than the defensive front, create just enough space. And I love when those quarterbacks get low and slide in there. And, get... and he is into the end zone for a Baltimore touchdown. Miles Sanders. His second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Ravens are able to build on to their fourth quarter lead. Everybody in the stadium knew what they were going to do right there, CD. Three tight ends on the field, all that extra bulk, and they run it in. And you saw where that one went, right? You run it over your best blocker. I can just see the head coach right now. I want to run this one over the big boy. And they got it done. Tucker with the extra point. And that will ensure that it will take a touchdown and a two-point conversion to tie it. Fielded just outside the goal line. The lane opens here. He's past the 30. And able to break this out all the way to the 38-yard line. Great return. Here we go, here we go. The Bengals drive about to get going. Well, Charles, you remember their last drive. They went for it on fourth down, didn't get it. But you understand why they did in this close game late. Now, though, the road back is even tougher. Yeah, no doubt about it. And it was fair to look back and say the fourth down was the moment where this one was decided. But as you mentioned, understandable about why they went for it. But, hey, a lot of credit to the guys on the defensive side of the ball. They knew they'd have to defend in that situation, and they got it done. Here we go. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. They're passing here, Joe Burrow. That'll be complete to Cook. And they're gonna work this down to about the 32-yard line. They drive some people crazy to see their short throws underneath. They gotta find a way to gash the defense downfield. Burrow. Right back to Cook for another completion. Down inside the 10. And they are able to stop him, but he does take it all the way to the two. First and goal, a touchdown and a two-point conversion here are musts. They'll run with Cook. Only a yard on the pickup there. Second and goal. And it's intercepted at the goal line. And he's into the clear. He's at the 40, past the 20. And he will bring this back. It's a pick six and a Raven touchdown. Well, that's about as tough as they come. You're driving to try to put the ball in the end zone and tie the game, and that happens. It's exciting for us, wasn't it? Because we were thinking, hey, we might be headed towards overtime. Instead, it looks like this one may very well be done. And guess what? If you're a fantasy owner and you have that defense, you just had a big, big game, didn't you? So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. Fielded just outside the goal line. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. On one, right? The Bengals drive about to get going. What do you do here down like this in this situation? Do you maybe just pick something out of the playbook you haven't called in a while, or you call it a day? You can do that, or you pick something that's a staple for you and should work better and try and execute that on the way out the door and maybe get back to base and feel a little bit better as you end, up, as you end a ball game. It's been a frustrating one for you. Yeah, we'll see if they go back to base.
And Brandon, trailing at halftime, we always talk about teams making adjustments. You know what the best adjustments usually are? It's just executing better. Because the game plan you put in place at the beginning of the week often still holds. You don't have to make wholesale changes. You just have to do a little bit better, a little cleaner. 